Hey there, and thanks so much for stopping in on the channel. So I think you saw from the thumbnail what we're doing today. Today I wanna to show you a quick and easy recipe to help you keep those pesky ants out of your home. Just keep watching. All right, now to start this recipe off, you are going to need equal parts water. And so I have um, a cup of water in here. Then to that, we're going to add some distilled white vinegar. Now I like to mix everything in a container with a little spout here just to make it easier to pour later and you'll see. So now we have the water and the vinegar and then the next thing we're gonna add to this are some essential oils. All right, now I'm gonna go to my Mountain Rose Herbs Green Cleaning Kit and I will leave a link in the description for you um, to check this out. But what I love about this kit is it has some of the basic essentials that you would need to do so many multi-purpose things around your home, like make your own um, ant spray. And what we're gonna grab out of this kit is lemon essential oil. So the reason that we are grabbing lemon essential oil is because ants really don't like citrus. So that's why I always add it to my recipe. Now, you might say, Dana, I don't have lemon essential oil but you might have actual lemons. So if you have fresh lemons, or even if you have the concentrate, squeeze a little bit into the, um, the container that you have. I would say if you could get about a, a half a cup, that would be great. If you have essential oil, what we're going to add next is, I usually add 15 drops of lemon oil. Oh, I lost count. All right, let's say that's 15. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna add to this recipe, which really is the powerhouse, is cinnamon leaf oil. Now, ants cannot stand cinnamon leaf oil. This is also from Mountain Rose Herbs, and I'll leave a link down below. So what you're gonna do is add about 15 drops also to the recipe. If you don't have cinnamon leaf, no worries. If you have cinnamon sticks or ground cinnamon, you can add that as well, and you're gonna have to eyeball it. Um, but just make sure that you have cinnamon and add it to the recipe. Now the last thing that we're gonna do is just take this and funnel this into a, um, a jar. Now I love to use amber glass jars because we're working with essential oils and you, when you're using clear jars, the essential oils break down, especially if you leave it out in the light. So I like to use amber, but if you don't have a glass jar, no worries. Just repurpose something that you already have, but let's funnel it right down into the jar. All right, so just like that, you made your own ant spray. Now, let me just give you a couple of tips that I have found from my own trial and error. The first thing is, it goes without saying, but you wanna make sure you eliminate the food source, right? Ants are coming into your home because there's a food source somewhere, whether it be around the perimeter or inside your home. Now, I discovered I started to have an ant problem because I got fresh mulch. I had a big mulch delivery and it was pushed right up to the house around the beds and you know, curb appeal but the ants love the mulch. So I actually had to go around and push it away and then do my own little sprays and things around the house to eliminate that source. In addition, you wanna make sure that you don't have things out, you know, you have things in containers. Identify where you see the ants the most and then eliminate the food source, that's the first thing. Then after you do that, right, eliminate the food source, then you wanna go make sure you go around and then start spraying. Now, I usually do this, um, and when I'm seeing active ants, I do this like every day, to be honest with you, to keep up with it. Um, when I was having a little problem in my front with the because of the mulch, another trick is I usually take my spray and then add it to a cotton ball or even um, like a cotton round and just kind of soak it a little bit and leave it, you know, just kind of put it on the windowsills and things like that. And so that way, if I forget a day to spray, these kind of kick in and, and will keep the ants at bay. And then you just want to keep up with the maintenance, replacing the rounds or adding a little more. And what you'll find over time, if you eliminate the food source and keep up with the spraying, is that you won't have an issue with the ants anymore. Now, the disclaimer, if you have a major, major ant infestation um, and it's bigger than a spray, obviously you wanna consult a professional. But if you have just a little minor, you know, ants here and there, this should do the trick. So I hope the video helped. If it did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and make sure you subscribe if you're not already a member of my channel and hit the notification bell, that way you never miss when I upload a new video each and every Sunday. Take care.